Dustin Hopkins has it on the tee, and here we go from our nation's capital. Fielded about a yard deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They're led out by a man who started more Super Bowls than anyone in NFL history, the great Tom Brady. I can't help but admire the career Tom Brady has had. The numbers are off the charts. The Super Bowl championships and rings, we know that they are incredible. But how about the durability? Had one season that he missed, most of that season because of a knee injury. The rest of the time, he answers the bell and wills his team to victory more times than not. And we keep hearing from people who are waiting to see the drop-off in his play. I'd quit worrying about it. I'd quit looking for it. He says he wants to play until he's 45. Is there any reason to doubt him? His skills have shown no sign of declining. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 20, 20. Now a play fake here on first down. And this is incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And now it's second down. Now let's give you a look here at the New England offense. Well, we all know that Rob Gronkowski is one of the premier tight ends in the NFL, but what makes him that way is the size. We see that. The ability to run. He's faster than a lot of wide receivers. The agility. He's almost like a power forward in basketball. And the competitiveness. When that ball is released, he decides it's his and no one else's. Brady again here on second and ten. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. His tight end, Dwayne Allen, the intended receiver. And it's third down. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. Ryan Kerrigan able to get him down for a loss of 11 on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the number one overall selection back in 05 out of the University of Utah. It's Alex Smith. I think one of the things that attracted people to Alex Smith initially was his mobility, and that's never changed. That guy's a great athlete, but he's so sharp with the football, so accurate, and takes care of it so well, he rarely puts his team in bad situations. Smith on first down. Josh Doxon's got it complete. And out across midfield, down to the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 
Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. A first carry now for Adrian Peterson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back-to-back. -back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. To back good plays have them on the move on first down. They run again on first down. Peterson. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Here's Smith now on second down. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Paul Richardson from 19 yards away. And the Redskins have taken a first quarter lead. And that drive happened quickly, which is great because they scored the points, but then their defense has to come right back out on the field. It is exciting, isn't it, for the offense to do that? The defense is saying, okay, that's cool, but let's not make it a habit. We need to get some rest sometime. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drive, four plays, and it was polished off by a Redskin touchdown. Hopkins now out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They go play action here on first down. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. By 20! By 20! They'll run it here. This is James White. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. 
Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now Brady throwing on second down. Goes underneath here to White. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll bring up a third down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And this is going to be incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. That first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. And this one hits at the 1, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Redskins. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in this seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. On first down, Smith. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Hey, 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 hey. Ready. Second and 10. Smith again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Richardson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there. 26 yards.
Play action. It's Smith. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson. That'll bring up second down. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? It certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Smith now to throw again. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back and they're not playing receivers as much. Is they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Throwing on third down, Smith. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for Personal good foul. measure. Face mask, defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face oh, man. First down. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. On first down, it's Smith. Over the middle, complete. It's Richardson. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. From the red zone now, Smith throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and that'll bring up second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Smith. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. Coverage was very good that time. A nice job to smother him as the ball arrived, and that ensured an incomplete pass. And it keeps six points off the board. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and ten. Smith throwing again. This is caught, and he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. Oh, 
They'll fake it. Now Smith. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Adrian Peterson, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now 14 to nothing. A good drive that time as they go nine plays at all. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Down to Shell. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Wait, 20. Brady to throw on second down. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and that'll make it third down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Wait, 20! You 20! Throwing is Brady on third down. And Gronk says, wait room. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Gronk's first catch, good for a first down. That's an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, it's Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Zach Brown coming in hard on the blitz. He gets him down for a loss of four. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. So after the sack, here's second and 14. 20! 20! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get 
get this up to about the 40. Call it seven yards on the carry, so a pretty good game, but still left with a tough third and eight. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. On play action. Now Brady. They will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. By 20! By 20! On first and 10, here's Brady. That is going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Jonathan Allen in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Man, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. By 20, by 20. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And an alley to run. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one good for 33 and a first. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and goal to go at the seventh. 
Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play car, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line. But it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? I said, by 20. Go, go. Brady going to throw. And he's going to get into the end zone. So cue up the Gronk spike. It's a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, a five-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. Goskowski with the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. So that one a long 11 play drive, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 right at the 30. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. Well, the great coach said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. On second and 10, Smith. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've hit the end of quarter one. 14-7 is the score. EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you and you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gauden. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two. They've got it third and ten here to start things out. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And now another one thrown incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. And this is a way. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The spotlight now focuses on the quarterback, and that's Tom Brady. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. 
Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now second and seven from the 23. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Wait, They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Shotgun now for Brady. The throw left side complete to Hogan. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. 20! My 20! Now a play fake, Brady. And the pressure gets to him again. Ryan Kerrigan in there to get him his second sack now in the afternoon. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Wait 20! Wait 20! Wait, wait, wait. From the gun, it's Brady. And a dump off to White. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Harris now to return. 51 yards on the punt there. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling them on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Dumps it off for Geis. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field.
Smith now just 7 of 15 so far, but he's got a first and 10. Now a first down throw. It's Smith going up top. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Washington. Paul Richardson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Redskins get the quick strike touchdown. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space. And just don't get totally with He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Wait, we got Working from the gun, it's Brady. And right side caught Hogan. Chris Hogan, the 40. And all the way down to the 36 yard line. Brady to Hogan for a big one 49 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. They go play action here on first down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Ryan Kerrigan. Getting him once again, his third sack of the afternoon. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. come up on second and long and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon on the handoff it's Michelle 
And he's across the 43, extra yards to the 43. That'll be a six-yard pickup, and it leaves him with a third and very long. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On third and long, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. Are we on the same page here, partner? Because I think they had the right idea. Just take what you can get on third and forever. Yeah, in real life, I'd say yes. It's just these video games are tempting. You want to go downfield with it. I like the way you evolved. Yeah. You know, you learned how to play it the Madden way. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. So not only do they get the fumble recovery on the punt, but now look at this field position. He almost took it the distance. And the ability to not just make the play, but turn it into something big, that's what coaches harp on all the time. How do we create big plays that'll change the game? And that may have been one that just did. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the gun. Brady, and caught by Hogan for a Patriot touchdown. Chris Hogan from six yards away, and the Patriots are back within a score. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Extra point good by Goskowski. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. Goskowski now out to kick it away. Here's Harris to return it. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at the 34. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Back to the air, Smith on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. We got set. Line 80. Throwing on third down, Smith. Here as he's taken down, Lawrence Guy able to run him down for a 15-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth, both of these offenses having their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely, and that sack finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now 
Edelman set to return. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And the Patriots take over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Hey, Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Throwing on first down is Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Brady closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Brady. And he's taken down inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. On second down, Michelle. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. New England on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 11. Wait, 20! From the gun, Brady. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. And Goskowski's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Marshall now, the return. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Smith on first down. And he over 
shot in there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Second and ten, Smith again. Got a man out of the backfield, it's Chris Thompson. Now he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. And that one results in 35 yards. So two minutes to go in a wild first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Ready, off the bootleg. Smith. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Smith going to throw again. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. The Redskins on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Throwing again is Smith. He may try and run for this. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Even after more than a decade in the league, Smith still one to account for with his legs as he picks up a first. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down now. I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that play's over. The derriere dips. I like that one. Yeah, been working on it for a little bit. From the red zone now, Smith. He's through. What about the five? And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. I said five. Off of play action. Here's Smith. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Lawrence Guy getting in there from his defensive tackle spot to snow him under for a loss of four. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. A shotgun snap for Smith. And that's incomplete. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. The Redskins on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Smith. And a 
Davis is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. In for the score. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that pushes the lead up to 11. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was polished off by a Redskin touchdown. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Tackle made there by Mason Foster. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. 20, 20. A give. This is Michelle. And he will perhaps get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And time has run out on this first half. So we've reached halftime here in D.C. in our nation's capital with a home team, the Redskins, on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. In the game you're watching, it's been the veteran Alex Smith with a strong first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well as we get you back to Brandon God. And here come the Redskins now. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. That throw good for four. It's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing is Smith. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Dante Hightower able to get in there and drop him behind the line. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. The Redskins on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and six. I got 580. I got Back 
to throw. Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. Brady and the Patriots now, first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try to get this offense going with Michelle. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. On second down, here's Brady. Jonathan Allen in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player disrupted in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Operating from the gun, Brady. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. It's a gain of seven, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Ryan Allen now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This is Harris. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And that will come the offense as they take over. Redskins offense now. They head back onto the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game, but why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That was a terrific catch. I mean, to go up there and get it one-handed like that, but I almost want to go into that riff about back in my day, the gloves weren't quite like this. When did gloves really become prevalent, just in general? I think in the 80s. I think as we started to move through the 80s, especially as we got towards the latter part of that. But a lot of those were really like baseball batting gloves to begin. It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, Washington. Jordan Reed, 52 yards. And the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Pretty 
plain and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Here's Brady, and his throw here is incomplete. Philip Dorsett, the intended receiver, and it's second down. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock Galvin away and bring up second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Brady will try again on second down. This is White on the screen. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. Yeah, now. who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They're down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Brady now on first down. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there. It's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. On play action, it's Brady. And a pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Jonathan Allen able to disrupt yet another pass play, his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. 20. Shotgun now for Brady. Over the middle, Dorsett. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker.
Here's Ryan Allen now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Now this is fielded in the end zone. A very good return there, give him an even 20 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now a play fake here on first down. Completes it right side to Dodson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. now five straight completions here in this second half first and ten now a first down throw it's Smith Jackson with a grab over the middle and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45 give him 12 yards on that one it earns him a fresh set of downs you can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. First down, Smith. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He got the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back one more time. <laughs> Didn't work there. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And off comes to Peterson. He doesn't find a ton of space following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. John Simon in on the stop. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's Smith to throw on third down. He's going to fire one. Got a man. It's caught. Inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Three red zone trips, three touchdowns so far. They'll look for a fourth on second and goal. Now it's Smith. And this is caught in the end zone. It's Dotson for the Redskins touchdown. Josh Dotson from eight yards out. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. And the defensive there, that was a battle. He just made a really nice play. A really nice play, making sure his body position was correct. And how about the throw? Zipped it in there. And it results in the touchdown. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. Extra point good by Hopkins. And they open the lead up now to 25. 
So the drive there took six plays. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Hopkins now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, <laughs> wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. They go play action here on first down. Ronkowski got it on the crossing route. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. On first and 10, here's Brady. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Brady now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Three down, three down. Right, right, Going on first down is Brady. Allen has it, left side. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. On first down, Brady. Allen's got it over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Ten more there and another first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Brady now. Perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. 20. Now Brady again. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. 
On that play, he simply dropped it. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. By 20! By 20! To throw again. Brady. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. By 20! By 20! Again, it's Brady. And that will be incomplete as well. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field has popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Now Brady got to have this one. And this is incomplete. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Redskins defense going to take over on the turnover on downs. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless, take care of the ball on the way out. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Brent, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Redskins on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third down and 12. to Peterson and he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21 yard line that'll make it fourth down after a loss of one so Brandon when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw but you know their defense is going to be but we put up big points all game long the defense is going to win one every now and then here's Tressway now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And now Edelman. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And now out come the Patriots. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. 
but they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. The throw there by Brady intended for Gronkowski, but incomplete. I'm not even sure I know who this guy is out there playing right now. This is very unlike him, one of the most accurate guys in the league, totally off his game right now. I don't know. I was going to ask you what you pin it on, but defensively, they've been pretty solid. Well, sometimes, you know, those defenders, they get into the receivers pretty well, and if they chip away at their timing, it's going to affect what you're doing throwing the ball as well. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Brady. And he'll find his man. That's Hogan complete. Brady finding Hogan on third down, and the Patriots able to convert. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Got four. Four down. Brady now on first down. Goes underneath here to White. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Call it a gain of three. And it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Ready to throw again. Left side, it's Dorsett. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, Brady. And a dump off to White. And he'll go down at the 28. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second in about a yard. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Wait, 20! Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. 
Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Now Brady throwing on second down. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. So he's hit Pater twice, but still they're facing that deficit here in the second half. So they're going to see if they can continue to find ways to get him the football because obviously something is working for him to find the end zone twice. In any event, however this turns out, he's going to be hard to deal with in the film room, isn't he? He's going to want to know why he's not getting more passes thrown to him. Those big tight ends are getting greedy. Goskowski the extra point, and that will get him one closer. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by the Redskins. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Well, I'd say that run's pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, this offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why there are points up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense we're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. On first down, this is Geis. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellows up front in order to bring this one home. Second down, Peterson. AP still got it. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I know we're there. Wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. 
But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. We're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. So it's Redskin football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Hey, hey, hey. I said five. They'll try the air now with Smith. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. You got to be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. The Redskins on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and nine. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number. We can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Dustin Hopkins now for the Redskins field goal. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. That throw by Brady incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Brady again here on second and ten. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. On third and long, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. Not sure what you're thinking here, partner, but I believe the officials have done a nice job here getting together and then coming out and indicating that there was a receiver in the area. Absolutely, and he was in the area. Correct call made, no grounding. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. And taken right at the 35. A uh, very good return that time. 18 yards. And the Redskins will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. 
A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right, and sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home field, and now the final stages. They'll hand it down to Geis. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Smith going to throw it. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. He's lucky to be getting that one back. After what they've done with him all day long with all the targets trying to go after him, he's obviously gotten smart, and his pride has kicked in. Made a terrific play. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on half of them, five for ten. They're looking at third and a few inches. Here's Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. The veteran Stephon Gilmore able to break that one up. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 54 yards away. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will extend the lead out to 24. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. So the Patriots coming out now. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while, or you call it a day? You can do that, or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little like bit better like as, you end a, as you end a ball game that's been a frustrating one for you. Yeah, we'll see if they go back to base. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Brady will try again on second down. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Throwing on third and long. Brady. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. Allen on the punt as he gets this one away. Harris now to return. Whoosh. An excellent return that time. 26 yards. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before we hit triple zeros.
The Redskins, they can smell victory now. They take a knee. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field.